Okay, let's talk about functions. And what I have right here is an example of a function, but this is a huge topic for anyone studying algebra, okay? Whether it be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus, college algebra, doesn't make a difference. Functions are hugely important in mathematics. So uh, this is impossible really to try to cover everything you need to know about functions in one video. So I'm gonna break this up into our first lesson about functions, and that is what is a function? So let's go ahead and start from the very, very beginning and just get you to have a good grounding, a good sense of, hey, what is a function in mathematics? And then we can kind of build from there. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I've been teaching math for decades and there's one thing that I've uh, come to a firm belief about and that is all students can be successful in mathematics but it takes two things. One, it takes uh, the student um, basically being willing to do the work, okay? So you have to do the homework, you gotta pay attention, you gotta take notes in class. But beyond that, the second part um, for a student to be successful in math is to have clear and understandable math instruction, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need math help in your math course, definitely check out my math help program. If you are preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I have a huge library of all uh, sorts of test prep courses that you might wanna check out. If you homeschool, I have outstanding middle and high school mathematics uh, courses for homeschooling. And if you need some math notes, I'm gonna leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into it, functions, uh, and uh, we're gonna start off with this first lesson. Lesson one uh, in that course is what is a function? And uh, we can't answer that question until we understand what a relation is in mathematics. So a function is a certain type of relation. So I'm gonna say that uh, right off the bat, but let's go ahead and define a relation. So a relation is nothing more than a point um, on the xy plane. So here, for example, you can graph, um, here's x and here's y. Pretty much everyone out there, I'm pretty sure, is familiar with this little xy plane. I could plot a point, and there's an xy point right there. So a point on the xy plane is a relation. But it could just be more than just one point. You could have a collection of points or a set of points. And you can see a set of points uh, as a graph as well, because you have a point there, here, here. You could see all these uh, this graph consists of infinitely many points. So a relation you can express as one single point, a collection of points, or even graphically. You can even um, express a relation in terms of an equation as well, because this can translate into um, a graph and a collection of points. But we're going to kind of keep it basic. So um, again, this is what a relation is, right? It's a point or a set or collection of points. And of course, we could, see, we could see this or express all those points graphically or even by an equation. Okay, so now that we have a basic idea of what a relation is, let's start talking about functions. Okay, so uh, a function is a certain type of relation. Okay, so a function, uh, therefore, is some sort of point, okay, or collection of point points, okay, or we could see it graphically or as an equation, but a function is a particular type of relation. So the one thing that we want to understand is that all functions, all functions are relations, okay? All functions are relations, but not all relations are functions, okay? So just because you have a relation doesn't mean it's a function, but if you are uh, dealing with a function, by definition, it is a relation, okay? So functions are a specific type or a special type of relation. They have certain special properties and that's what we wanna talk about right now. Okay, so let's get into a good graphical model to understand kind of what a function does for us. So uh, basically a function is a rule, all right? It's a rule that takes a certain input value. Okay, we take a number, some sort of input value, we throw it into this, like, you can think of it like as a machine. It has a certain rule and it says, okay, give me an input value, do something with it, and then you'll get an output value. So let's go ahead and take a look at an actual example. Okay, our input values when we're dealing with functions is gonna be associated with the x variable. Okay, so here, our input value 
is some sort of X number, a number that's going to replace this X. Now our rule is going to be 2X plus 1 for this particular example. So it means that whatever this number is going to be for X, we're going to multiply it by 2 and then add 1. And then once we do this rule, okay, based, uh, we take our input value, apply this rule, we're going to get an output value, and we're going to associate that output value with the variable y. Okay, so this x and this y make up our x, y point that we could graph, right? So our x, y point, like a point like 3, 7, something like that. This x here is our input, and then we have an associated output value. So let's take a look at an actual example. So here's our input uh, value, it's x. So let's let x equal to three. So that means for two x plus one, I'm gonna replace this x with three. So two times three plus one, of course, that's six plus one is seven. Okay, so when x was three, y is seven, and this is a point that was uh, generated from this function. So this is effectively what a function is. It's like a machine, okay? It takes in certain input values, we apply a, a particular rule and we get uh, certain output values, okay? The output value is dependent on the input value. All right, so again, this is our first lesson in functions. There's a lot of terminology and stuff that you will be uh, learning about functions, but let's go ahead and take this a step further. All right, so here, again, is our little model of a function, okay, our x uh, variable represents our input values. So this was our 2x plus 1. That was our rule. Okay, this is the x and this is the y value. So we can kind of look at um, functions graphically uh, using a particular model like this. This is called a mapping diagram. So what we're seeing in, uh, with this mapping diagram, here is our x and here is our y. What we're saying is, when we have three, when we put three into our little function rule, uh, what came out is a seven. Okay, so three maps to seven, and that corresponds to the point three, seven. Okay, now it's important that you understand how a mapping diagram works because oftentimes you're going to be able, to, you're going to be um, asked questions to determine whether uh, something is a function or not whether a relation is a function based upon a mapping. Let's go ahead and do another example here, okay? And by the way, too, that x, y uh, point uh, obviously uh, corresponds to a point that we could plot. So let's go ahead and do another value. Let's uh, do five, okay? So I'm gonna replace this x with a five, so that's gonna be two times five, which of course is 10 plus one, so my output value would be 11. So when x is five, uh, that 5 generated an 11. My output value is an 11. So this is how we would construct um, a mapping diagram. Let's go ahead and do one more just so you understand how this works. Let's do uh, 1. Okay, so when x is 1, okay, we're, again, we're going to replace this x right there with 1 with our input value. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. Our output value is 3. So when x is 1, our output value is 3. Okay, so um, again, each one of these are, are these are points here, like 5, 11, 1, 3. And then, of course, we had our first point here, 3, 7. So I could express this as a set or a collection of points. Okay, so 3, 7, uh, 5, 11, okay, and 1, 3. I could graph, graph these points. Okay, I could plot those points. Or I can write the, uh, this as a collection of points again. A collection of points by definition is a relation. But what we're looking at here is a function, and I'm going to tell you right now what is the definition of a function, okay? Here it is. So yeah, the definition of a function is this. For every x value, for, for any x value in a function can only map uh, to one and only one y value, okay? So I'll say that again because this is where you really need to understand. Every input, okay, can only go to one and only one output. So three is mapping to seven. Five, for example, maps to 11. One, for example, maps to three, okay? For every single unique input value, it can only go to one and only one output value, okay? All right, so now 
we're going to go ahead and uh, just race this. And let's suppose, okay, I'm going to be dealing with a brand new problem here, okay? And I'm going to ask you whether these are functions or not, whether, whether this represents a function. So let's say uh, 3 goes to 11, 5 goes to 7, and 1 goes to 3. So my question to you, does this right here represent a function? Okay. So the answer is either yes or no. If you said yes, that's very, very good. Okay. So let's just answer the question. Does each X map to one and only one Y value? Well, let's see here. Three is only going to 11. Five is only going to seven. And one is only going to three. That looks pretty good to me. So in fact, this is a function. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do this now. All right, how about this? Is this a function? Well, let's go ahead and answer the question. But uh, before I answer it, you go ahead and think about it for a second. So is it yes or no? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Again, what's the test? Well, does every X go to one and only one Y? Well, three is only going to seven, so that's good. Now, five is also going to seven. Now, some of you out there might be saying, ooh, this is a problem. Uh, this doesn't this like break the rule? No, it's okay because this X is pointing to only one Y value. This is okay. It, and it can be the same Y value. That's, there's no issue right there. And then we have one pointing to three. So this point here would be the point three, seven. And then we would have this other point five, seven as well. And uh, one, three. So if I gave you these points and I asked you whether this is a function or a relation, you can uh, construct a mapping diagram and, you know, um, uh, you can see clearly that, yes, this isn't violating the rules of a function. But now let's go ahead and actually do something where uh, we're going to have some issues. Okay, so how about this scenario right here? Okay, so is this a function, yes or no? Well, the answer is no. Well, let's go ahead and just go through these one by one. So three maps to seven. Okay, that X value is only going to one y, one y value, so this checks. But we have problems here at five, okay? So five is trying to map to 11, and it's also trying to map to three. So right here, okay, this fails, all right? This fails the definition of a function. Then what, uh, one maps to three. So even though the rest of these are okay, if one... Uh, these x values goes to more than two goes to two or more different y values that fails but let's go ahead and take a look at this another way and this is basically again it's like the fu a function machine right so let's say we have this machine and we're like hey let's uh let's see what happens with this machine let's say let's get a one and let's throw it in here so we're like let's throw it into the machine we'll throw our one into the machine and what pops out let's say a three pops out we're like yeah that's pretty cool Let's go ahead and throw a two in there, and what will pop out? Let's say uh, a seven pops out. We're like, yeah, this is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and get another one. We'll grab another one because we're like all these input values over here. We're like, let's throw another one in there. If we throw another one back into this uh, back into this machine, what would we expect to come out? Well, the last time we threw a one in, a three came out, but if we throw another one into the machine and like a five comes out, well, that's confusing, right? Because the first time we threw a one into the machine, a three came out, but then we threw a one into the machine the second time and a five came out. So again, this is a one. And when we uh, put it into our, our uh, function machine here, the first time we got a, a three and then the second time, uh, we got a five. So this fails the concept of a function. Okay. So when you have a relation such that uh, every input value maps to only one and one output value, that is a function. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and leave it right there for this basic introduction. But actually, let me um, uh, give you one more um, uh, thing here. Give you a little bit of terminology that's really important. So, again, there's so much to learn, learn about functions. This is just a basic uh, definition of, or basic um, lesson about functions. But let's say this is a function because it is a function, right? Every x goes to one and only one y. Looks pretty good to me. So let's just say this represents our entire function. 
Now, these, these x values, okay, again, this is our input values. And then our y values, this is our output value. So our output values are dependent on, the, on our input values, okay? Now, all these values, these set of input values has a name. When we're talking about functions, it's called the domain, all right? So the domain of a function is the set of all input values. And our output values in a function is called the range, all right? So this is called the range. And the range is dependent upon the domain, okay? And uh, this variable here, x, is often referred to as the independent variable, and then y is often referred to as the dependent variable. But we're going to go ahead and leave it like this because this does cover quite a bit in this particular lesson. Okay, the main concept is this. All right, when you're dealing with relations, all functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. And uh, you're going to be dealing with both functions and things that are not functions, i.e., just relations, stuff like this, when you get into more advanced algebra. So you're going to see this word everywhere, functions, whether it be rational functions, quadratic functions, polynomial functions. And so this word has meaning, okay? And hopefully this, uh, you know, introductory lesson or lesson one, uh, you know, really kind of set a good foundation for you. Now, of course, I'm going to be doing future lessons on functions. And matter of fact, I have a ton of content already on my YouTube channel about functions, but I'm going to kind of start breaking things up piece by piece for you. So here's the deal. One, you need to continue to follow uh, through about your education with um, uh, about functions in an algebra, you know, across the board. So I'm going to strongly recommend that you check out one of my algebra courses. Again, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel. But if this little video here helped you out in some way, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even uh, maybe even uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Okay, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my videos. I make them for you, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.